welcome. Right. Our conference is being recorded, and tonight is Tuesday, January 15th, 2013. My name is Amy Jesus, and I'm the residing bishop of the Church of Tanati. And this is a spirit gathering teleconference where people are drawn together through our connection on the inner plane, and we're forming a circle in this teleconference. And we're going to talk tonight, our topic is about the shift that occurred on the winter solstice, December 21st, 2012. And I'd ask all of you on the phone to please mute your lines when you're not sharing, when you're not speaking. That helps keep the line quiet since we are recording. And it's also easier for everyone to hear. So if you would please push either the mute button on your phone or star six, we'll take a moment to do that now. Great. And if you have any trouble unmuting your line for any reason, sometimes people do seem to have trouble working their their phone keypads, just hang up and call back in, okay? So that won't be a problem, I hope. So tonight, we're in a circle. We're going to have this discussion following the Peer Spirit Circle Guidelines. You can read more about Peer Spirit Circles at www.peerspirit.com. Dot com, P-E-E-R-S-P-I-R-I-T dot com. They're teachers about circle and they say, quote, what transforms a meeting into a circle is the willingness of people to shift from informal socializing or opinionated discussion into a receptive attitude of thoughtful speaking and deep listening and to embody and practice the structures of the circle that they teach. So our intention, the first component of the circle, is to join together in fellowship and to discuss our experiences, to share our experiences and to listen to those who are sharing. Our call will last about an hour and we will... uh, Start with the blessing of the seven rays to establish the center of the circle. I'll ask you all to imagine that you're sitting around a campfire and everyone else on the call is sitting around that fire with you. And in the very center of our circle where the campfire is, there is a place where light is coming towards us, coming up from under the ground or however you imagine it, coming up through the campfire and it's shining a ray of light to each of us, to our hearts. And I'll say a prayer that was uh, created by the founders of Tazadi, Dorothy Blackmere and Amy Keyes, who's passed on into spirit now, called the Blessing of the Seven Rays of Light. And imagine that that light in the center of the circle, in the campfire, these different rays of light, each ray is coming to your heart like a spoke of a wheel connecting you to the center. Our dear Heavenly Father, as we light the seven rays of light for the healing of all conditions throughout the universe, white. We light the first ray of light, white, which is for purity, divine essence to flow through the universe, the Christ light ever present. Pink. The second ray of light is pink, which is for divine love and peace, keeping our thoughts ever present with me. Blue. The third ray of light is blue, which is for spiritual understanding, for God is all that we need. Green. The fourth ray of light is green, which is for divine healing of all conditions and new growth development 
and to fulfill and accomplish our mission. Gold, yellow. The fifth ray of light is gold or yellow, which is for divine protection. The light of God, which surrounds us and gives us faith in all things. Ask in his name and thy will be done. Red. The sixth ray of light is red, which is for the God power to flow throughout the universe, to be ever-present in us, to give strength and courage to our leaders so we shall remain forever free. Purple. The seventh ray of light is purple, which is for divine happiness and supply and healing of all things. We now know all is in the loving care of the Father, and he alone shall supply all our needs. Amen. Now, as we sit in this circle with these rays of light flowing from our heart to the center of the circle and back, back and forth, and we connect our hearts with the hearts of the others in this circle, let's set the intent to shift into a receptive attitude of thoughtful speaking and deep listening. And I want you to imagine that I'm holding a talking stick. And that when I'm talking, I'm holding the stick. And when I'm done talking, I'm going to put the stick down and someone else is going to pick up the stick so that we each talk one at a time. And when you're holding the stick, you have the floor. And when you put the stick back, you move back into that deep listening space. I'm being helped tonight on this call by Sue Rowleader, Reverend Dr. Sue Rowleader from Alaska. And she's going to act as a circle guardian. And the guardian has the role to employ a gentle noisemaker that signals everyone to stop action and take a breath and rest in the space of silence. So Sue, would you unmute and make the little sound, which is your guardian sound tonight, so we can hear it? Sure. Just a moment. Let me get there real quick. And what the guardian does is if the guardian feels like we need to slow down, she'll make this sound first time and we'll all stop and we'll all take a breath. The person who's speaking will stop. And then when she make, rings it a second time or makes a sound a second time, she'll say why she wanted us to slow down. Okay, and that's go. one way we, we can all learn together about, about circle. So go ahead, Sue. What's your sound? Did you hear that? Not real well. Did you do it again? I'm afraid we won't hear it. Can you put it closer to the song? Sure. Just a moment. Is that better? Not for me. Okay, Hold what on. is it? I'm actually using a chime or a bell on my cell phone. What I'm going to do is go to my iPad and uh, pick something from there. Okay. Well, since yeah. getting the Guardian sound together, uh, I'm going to introduce Laura Wolf, Star Wolf from Dallas, and she's going to be our timekeeper. Since we have a lot of people, and it's a relatively short call, Laura's going to make a sound every five minutes to just keep us aware of the time passing without anybody having to call out a time marker. So, Laura, can you make your time marker sound? Could you hear that? Great. Yeah, I could hear that one. So when we hear that every five minutes, it just keeps us aware that time is passing. Helps us when we're speaking to stay focused, keep our comments, you know, to the point, and helps us when we're listening 
have a sense of the space that we're holding. Time is passing. So keep your phone unmuted, please, Laura. And then, Sue, what's your uh, guardian sound? Well, uh, here's try to not that. Oh, that's a good one, like a doorbell. Okay, we'll do that's the doorbell. That's great. I could hear okay. that one. <laughs> I heard the duck, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we have a guardian. We have a timekeeper. We're going to do receptive deep listening and thoughtful speaking, okay? And we're all holding this council, this circle together, okay? So, so. say again. Okay, so let's take a moment to shift into silence and just meditate. Take your mind back to the solstice, December 21st, 2012, and Remember all the hoopla before then about the end of the age. Some people thought the world was ending. And uh, it's very pleasurable to have the opportunity to sit back and reflect on that and to share with other sensitive people what we experienced. So here are some questions that might help you remember. What did you experience in the days up to December 21st? What did you experience at the moment of the winter solstice? What did you experience the days immediately following the solstice? What are you sitting with now? And you can answer any of these, one of these, or if something jogs your memory into a different topic, that's okay. I'm going to now put down the talking stick, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 people. So there's, there's time for each of you to share for about two minutes. And uh, if you don't want to share, you don't have to, but I'll ask you to keep your remarks to about that length of time and to have a clock near you so that um, one person doesn't take up all the airtime. Okay? I'm putting talking stick down and I'm moving into a state of deep listening. When you're ready to speak, just unmute your line and say, I'm picking up the talking stick. This is, you know, it's Sue or whoever it is. And then share what you have to share and then put down the stick. And if you say that, I'm finished or I'm putting down the stick, then people know that they, they're free to step in. So I'm finished. Hey, this is Sue. I will pick up the talking stick briefly. What I remember is nothing really loud or big, just a very gentle, soft, um, or a gentling and softening of our earth energies, our energies in general, in the collective sub- conscious, um, something softer, something more gentle. Um, and that's as clear as I can get. When I'm finished. This is Teresa Jane, and I'm picking up the talking stick. What I've noticed is that I felt a definite shift from um, rugged individualism to a sense of renewed cooperation and teamwork, and uh, I... I felt that a gentle, um, the gentle peacefulness sort of settle in as if um, we are truly entering an age of, of cooperation and an ease of 
like-minded and like-spirited people coming together in in groups or teams with um, similar purpose and and the spirit of cooperation just seems very very high right now and I'm putting down the talking stick This is Deborah Colburn. I'd like to pick up the talking stick. The winter solstice coincided with being able to really relax after a very uh, hectic amount of work and uh, actually take a week off. And so it was uh, relaxing and unwinding and a lot of time with family. I'm putting down the talking stick. This is Diane. I'll pick up the talking stick. Um, Just before the winter solstice, I found myself in um, patterns from childhood, um, particularly uh, the high self-critic. And on Saturday morning, I distinctly remember waking up and being very aware of new energies that felt really expansive and I remember um, even making a noise like you know it was quite something and then since that it feels like it's um, there's a newness and an expansion and a not knowing sort of what's next Um, it's a it's a reorganization time it feels like Thank you. I'm putting the stick back. Thanks, Laura. Uh, It's just kind of marking time. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I did it before, but I was muted. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect. Thank you. It's great to have your time worker. Um, Since I'm speaking, I'll go ahead and pick up the stick and say that um, I agree with everything that everyone has shared so far. It's been a very gentle time for me. It's been a very positive thing for me because I've seen a lot of people in the Dallas community come together and utilize this time as a time of prayer and affirming for a new age, a new way, a new world. And as much chaos as there is in the world, there's peace to counterbalance it and that feels very positive right now I put down the stick This is Gwen. I'm picking up the stick. Um, I agree also with what's been said. For me, the weekend of the solstice was a a quiet one where I was able to just spend time in meditation, and I felt the energies were just wonderful supporting me then. Um, And I agree about the building of uh, working together and community. Uh, One other thing that I've observed is that there's been in my life a relationship that's been um, uh, less than harmonious, quite difficult. And it it seems as though this is a a time when those things of that nature are are breaking up so that the old forms uh, that aren't working are, are, are really going to fall apart so that something new can be there that's of a higher level. I'm putting down the stick. Thank you.
Hi, this is Judy Myers. I'm picking up six. Um, if I can use metaphor, um, coming into uh, the surface, the the waters were rough and choppy, and Saturday morning it was like it breathed a sigh, and I could almost watch watch it flatten so that it was reflecting um, a clear sky back at me. And I'm putting down the stick. and I'm picking up the stick. I didn't have any specific aha moment. I share with others the piece. It, what my experience was and is is a gradual lifting of a fog, fog of um, kind of seeing madness all over and not knowing how to uh, make sense of the world. But the interesting thing is that I... I feel like I, at almost 74, am just discovering another dimension of myself. It's just really eerie because I pretty much thought I'd figured it all out. So I'm in a process of self-discovery, and um, despite the chronic chaos around me, I'm holding my focus and writing like crazy, and poems are pouring out of me, and I'm just pleased and delighted. And I didn't really connect it with any larger energetic shift, but clearly I'm right there putting the stick down. This is Amy. I'm picking up the stick. I noticed um, quite a lot of energy moving in the days, the weeks, about two, three weeks before the solstice. Um, were very, very intense here for me. Um, I felt like I was sizzling, like a piece of meat on a grill, and I couldn't sleep. And that's not normal for me. Normally, I can sleep like the dead. And um, I was just like on fire with this energy. And um, it was pretty uncomfortable. And uh, I had some physical pain. I had um, a lot of pain in my lower back. But I was just watching it all happen. I wasn't it didn't take me down, but it was um, <clears throat> it was kind of intense. <laughs> and it got really intense the, the, the last couple nights before the solstice. And I didn't put two and two together that this was related to the solstice until just before the solstice. And then I was like, oh, oh, this is about the shift. Right, right. And so and I was like, okay, well, I'll stop trying to go back to sleep. There's nothing wrong with me. This is just energy. Just ride the energy. It's fine. And I woke up. I did manage to get to sleep the night of the solstice, and I woke up like one minute before the solstice. It was, it, which in in my time zone was 3:12 a.m. <laughs> so I woke up at 3:10 a.m. and I was like, right, here we are. Here we go. And it was beautiful. I mean, I really didn't have any expectations. I wasn't really caught up in the hoopla about it before. But it was 
so beautiful what I perceived happening at that moment. It was like this influx of very, very gentle, spacious energy. And I just felt this immense peace come over me. And it was so tangible. I mean, it was really, really tangible. And I just felt and perceived and watched this incoming energy just start to lift and separate all this dense chaos. And it just made space. And I was so grateful. I mean, I really felt blessed, like like we were receiving a blessing, some kind of dispensation. And I rolled over and went back to sleep. And when I woke up the next morning, um, it was still here. <laughs> and it was like, it was more of it. And it was moving this energy. It was like moving from the center outward. And it just kept coming. And it was I wasn't expecting anything, you know. I really wasn't expecting anything special or anything particularly good or bad. And I was so pleasantly surprised and um, uplifted by it. So that's me. I'm putting down the stick. Does anybody else like to share about their experience of the energy shift? Uh, it's Ying. Go ahead, Yen. Oh, um, like to pick up the uh the stick. Um, I don't know. It makes sense, but um, two weeks before December twenty first, I I uh, started a very very bad cold, and it lasts exactly fourteen days. And when it finally finished, it become December twenty first. So. I don't know why you meant, but that's what I experienced. <laughs> I'm putting down my stick. Okay. Well, that was great hearing from everybody. I'm picking the stick back up. And I feel very enriched by having heard so many different voices tonight. I'm so glad that you all spoke up. I am wondering if uh, we'd like to do a checkout round and just go around the circle again and allow a little time for each of us to comment on either what you learned or what stays in your heart and mind as you leave. Um, But since we're in this fire circle, (laughs) 
There are these seven rays of light pouring out to our hearts. Um, it's a nice space, nice to share. And uh, I want to invite you to pick up the stick again and just give us a parting thought. So I'm putting the stick down, Bill. And then after everybody shares their parting thought, we'll do a closing, a formal closing, before we hang up. Putting the stick down, Bill. This is Star, and I'd like to pick up the stick. Because of the solstice and everything, I've been doing a lot of reading, watching films and videos and like that about that. I am prophecy. And one of the things that came to me from all of the that I've been looking at is that when, whenever there are more than one of us together and we are sharing energy, sharing God's love, it signifies. And my closing thought is that tonight we will actualize that. And I thank you for allowing me to be a part of that. I lay down the stick. This is Sue. I will pick up the stick briefly. Um, I was very sick uh, that week of solstice and didn't really start to come out of it until after Christmas Day. So it was very nice to hear from everyone and to hear affirmations of this brief energetic shift that I felt. And I was really sure all the time if it was the shift or not, or the focus or not. So it has been very nice. I really appreciate the fellowship tonight and the, and the reminiscence of the affirmation that there is a shift. Thank you for laying down the truth. This is Diane. I'll pick up the stick. I feel grateful and peaceful. And that's my checkout. This is Gwen, and I'm picking up the stick. I feel a kind of optimism, I think, about moving forward in our times that I haven't felt before. I think that was also part of my experience as the days have passed, even though things in the world don't look so good in a lot of places. And uh, hearing comments tonight affirm that. Thank you. And down the stick. This is Judy, and I'm picking up the stick. Um, going into the solstice and coming out, and this evening, um, it's been an honor to be in this circle tonight. And um, my mantra was a continual um, prayer of prayer of protection going in and coming out, and it pretty much has continued to stay with me um, these last last few weeks. Um, And I just wanted to share that. Thank you for this evening. I'm putting down the stick.
the stick and uh, comment that it was so very nice to be in the circle tonight. And I am leaving the circle with uh, more optimism and uh, a peaceful sense of community. I'm putting down the stick. This is Teresa. I'd like to pick up the stick and say that um, I haven't been actively a part of this community for a couple of years, kind of going through my own journey. And I'm so happy about the circle format and the talking stick and um, being a part of again. So thank you. I feel uh, really blessed with this call. And putting down the stick. This is Rain. Um, I'm experienced, and I'm picking up the talking stick. I'm experiencing a kind of dynamic tension between the sense of everything changing and and so there's this feeling that that a lot of new and different and unknown is happening and at the same time there's this sense of kind of Kind of return to right balance and a place that's deeply familiar. And my personal challenge, and I, I, I suspect the community's challenge is to is to be able to hold those seeming polarities, <laughs> you know, uh, and and to and to let them kind of dance with each other and 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 not get swept away in either of them as as the whole story for me it's a, it's a, a really interesting adventure that isn't as foreign and unusual as i think it might be and I'm putting down the talking stick. Hello, this is Sally. Um, I'm picking up the talking stick, and I appreciate all of the information that people brought to this um, council and it helped me get a little bit clearer about it because for me it's just been kind of a sequencing of events and it's hard for me to place at what point different things have shifted. Um, But I definitely have recognized a shift and you know, how can I say? I just it, it it feels like I'm moving into a good place and into a better organization of energy, and um, and I guess part of what's difficult for me is that I've been doing different um, work to kind of harmonize with all of this. So sometimes I don't know whether it's just feeling that energy or the other energy, but it's all good. And I appreciate being in community with you this evening. Thank you. I'm putting down the talking stick.
Anybody else have a check out? Judith with the stick, and it's been just lovely being with everyone uh, for the circle, and um, having the talking stick is a wonderful thing. Um, I am excited. I'm looking forward to movement of some sort on some plane, but this, as many other events, leave me wondering what is really going on. You know, there's so much hoopla about the Mayans and this and that and the other, but something much much beyond our even being able to conceive of it is happening. And that's what I want to know. Anybody got any clues? Thanks. Putting down the stick. Great. Well, I want to encourage you, if you're interested in responding to Judith's question, I sent an email invitation to this uh, this gathering, and you can feel free to continue the sharing online. All you have to do is use the reply link, reply, R-E-P-L-Y, that's embedded in the message, not your email program's usual way of replying to an email. It's in blue letters. I think it's at the bottom of the message that I sent says reply and if you click that and you're on my email list you'll be taken right into the forum and whatever you write when you post it it will go out to all the people that I sent the invitation to so I invite you to continue our discussion online if you're interested and if not that's fine and we're going to draw the circle to a close now I thank all of you for your contributions and your sharing of words and of energy and of awareness. I thank you especially, Sue, for being our guardian. Even though you didn't speak out or ring your sound, I felt you guarding and holding everyone. I'm so grateful. And Laura, thank you for keeping time so beautifully and singing with your little chime. I appreciate it. So let's begin now to draw inward for we're going to transition from this sacred space together of fellowship and communion with the divine back into our everyday world. This fellowship goes with us. This fire in the center of our circle goes into our hearts now. Imagine those seven rays of light once again coming from the center of the fire into your heart all together or separately. If you don't remember the colors, it's all right. Just imagine that you're taking some of that fire from our center, our shared energy and purpose, into your heart. Good. And that what is left of the fire in the center is beginning to be transmitted out into the world so that unlike a physical campfire where we pour the water out to make it safe, to leave the the ground, this fire is going to be safely shared with the world. Just imagine that however you do, that our fellowship, the good feelings, the respect, the deep listening, the thoughtful speaking, that that energy is like a pattern or a wave and it's going out into the world. It will touch people you've never met and whom you will never meet. And it's being offered into this energy space that we all share here, this atmosphere of reality. Good. And in that emptiness now, it's in the center where the fire was, sense the great potential for coming forth. And sense that in your own heart as well, a beautiful empty space from which light and creation can pour forth out into the world. May you go in beauty and in peace from this circle. May you be blessed and may you give blessings. Oh. Thank you for coming. Hope we'll see you again. Next month's Spirit Gathering is the third Tuesday at the same time and the same phone number. 
The archive of this call will be on the website www.tzadi.org. Tzadi.org. You can send your friends and others to listen. Give us a couple days to get it uh, archived and posted. I wish you well in all your growth and all your service. Good night. Bye, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Good night.